Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back. Welcome to the one year Bible reading. Today's reading is for December 5th. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord God, for another day, another opportunity to hear you speak to us through your word. May we understand what's being read, Lord God. May we apply your word to our daily lives. May we love you with our with all of our mind, our heart, our soul, our strength. May we put you first. May we follow all of your commandments, your judgments, and your statutes, Lord. And may your name be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, guys, so today we're starting the book of Hosea. So before we dive in, let's go ahead and read a little summary. Hosea. Hosea preached in the northern kingdom when the nation was prospering outwardly, but decaying inwardly and facing certain judgment. He is a master of imagery. As you read, notice the many comparisons he makes, like a dry land, like a morning cloud, etc. The overriding image in his book is that of marriage. Hosea married a woman who bore him three children and then deserted him and became a prostitute. He finally had to buy her back out of the slave market. Hosea's painful experience was a sermon to the nation. Israel was married to Jehovah, but committed spiritual adultery and turned to idols. That in turn led to moral decay in the nation. The nation would suffer for her sins, but the Lord would one day redeem her and restore her. The development of the book is as follows. Hosea's marriage, chapters 1 through 3. Israel's sins, chapters 4 through 7. Israel's judgment, chapters 8 through 10. And Israel's future restoration, chapters 11 through 14. It is easy for the church today to prostitute itself to the world and still claim to be faithful to the Lord. The warning of Revelation, chapter 2, verses 4 through 5 must be heeded. The book of Hosea, chapter 1, verse 1, through chapter 5, sorry, excuse me, through chapter 3, verse 5. The word of the Lord that came to Hosea, the son of Beeri, in the days of Uzziah, Jotham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah, kings of Judah, in the days of Jeroboam, the son of Joash, king of Israel. When the Lord began to speak by Hosea, the Lord said to Hosea, Go, take yourself a wife of harlotry and children of harlotry, for the land has committed great harlotry by departing from the Lord. So he went and took Gomer, the daughter of Diblam, and she conceived and bore him a son. Then the Lord said to him, Call his name Jezreel, for in a little while I will avenge the bloodshed of Jezreel on the house of Jehu, and bring an end to the kingdom of the house of Israel. It shall come to pass in that day that I will break the bow of Israel in the valley of Jezreel. And she conceived again and bore a daughter. Then God said to him, Call her name Lo-Ruhamah. For I will no longer have mercy on the house of Israel, but I will utterly take them away. Yet I will have mercy on the house of Judah, will save them by the Lord their God, and will not save them by bow, nor by sword or battle, by horses or horsemen. Now when she had weaned lo Rumaha, Ruhamama, she conceived and bore a son. Then God said, Call his name Lo-Ami, for you are not my people, and I will not be your God. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured or numbered, and it shall come to pass in the place where it was said to them, You are not my people. There it shall be said to them, You are sons of the living God. Then the children of Judah and the children of Israel shall be gathered together and appoint for themselves one head, and they shall come up out of the land, for great will be the day of Jezreel. 
Say to your brethren, my people, and to your sisters, mercy is shown. Bring charges against your mother. Bring charges, for she is not my wife, nor am I her husband. Let her put away her harlotries from her sight, and her adulteries from between her breasts. Lest I strip her naked, and expose her, as in the day she was born, and make her like a wilderness, and set her like a dry land, and slay her with thirst. I will not have mercy on her children, for they are the children of harlotry. For their mother has played the harlot. She who conceived them has behaved shamefully. For she said, I will go after my lovers, who give me my bread and my water, my wool and my linen, my oil and my drink. Therefore, behold, I will hedge up your way with thorns, and wall her in, so that she cannot find her paths. She will chase her lovers, but not overtake them. Yes, she will seek them, but not find them. Then she will say, I will go and return to my first husband, for then it was better for me than now. For she did not know that I gave her grain, new wine, and oil, and multiplied her silver and gold, which they prepared for Baal. Therefore I will return and take away my grain in its time, and my new wine in its season, and I will take back my wool and my linen, given to cover her nakedness. Now I will uncover her lewdness in the sight of her lovers, and no one shall deliver her from, her from my hand. I will also cause all her mirth to cease. Her feast days, her new moons, her sabbaths, all her appointed feasts. And I will destroy her vines and her fig trees, of which she has said, These are my wages that my lovers have given me. So I will make them a forest, and the beasts of the field shall eat of them. I will punish her for the days of Baals to which she burned incense. She decked herself with her earrings and jewelry and went after her lovers. But me she forgot, says the Lord. Therefore, behold, I will allure her, will bring her into the wilderness and speak comfort to her. I will give her her vineyards from there, and the valley of Achor as a door of hope. She shall sing there, as in the days of her youth, as in the day when she came up from the land of Egypt. And it shall be in that day, says the Lord, that you will call me my husband, and no longer call me my master. For I will take from her mouth the names of Baals, and they shall be remembered by their name no more. In that day I will make a covenant for them, with the beasts of the field, with the birds of the air, and with the creeping things of the ground. Bow and sword of battle I will shatter from the earth, to make them lie down safely. I will betroth you to me forever. Yes, I will betroth you to me in righteousness and just justice, in loving kindness and mercy. I will betroth you to me in faithfulness, and you shall know the Lord. It shall come to pass in that day that I will answer, says the Lord. I will answer the heavens, and they shall answer the earth. The earth shall answer with grain, with new wine, and with oil. They shall answer Jezreel. Then I will sow her for myself in the earth, and I will have mercy on her who had not obtained mercy. Then I will say to those who were not my people, You are my people. And they shall say, You are my God. Then the Lord said to me, Go again, love a woman who is loved by a lover, and is committing adultery, just like the love of the Lord for the children of Israel, who look to other gods and love the raisin cakes of the pagans. So I bought her for myself for fifteen shekels of silver and one and one and a half homers of barley. And I said to her, You shall stay with me many days. You shall not play the harlot, nor shall you have a man. So, too, will I be toward you. 
For the children of Israel shall abide many days without king or prince, without sacrifice or sacred pillar, without ephod or teraphim. Afterward the children of Israel shall return and seek the Lord their God and David their king. They shall fear the Lord and his goodness in the latter days. The book of 1 John, chapter 5, verses 1 through 21. Whoever believes that Jesus is the Christ is born of God, and everyone who loves him, who be God also, loves him who was begotten of him. By this we know that we love the children of God, when we love God and keep his commandments. For this is the love of God that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not burdensome. For whatever is born of God overcomes the world, and this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. Who is he who overcomes the world, but he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is he who came by water and blood, Jesus Christ, not only by water, but by water and blood. And it is the Spirit who bears witness, because the Spirit is truth. For there are three that bear witness in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit. And these three are one. And there are three that bear witness on earth, the Spirit, the water, and the blood. And these three agree as one. If we receive the witness of men, the witness of God is greater. For this is the witness of God, which he has testified of his Son. He who believes in the Son of God has the witness in himself. He who does not believe God has made him a liar, because he has not believed the testimony that God has given of his Son. And this is the testimony, that God has given us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. He who has the Son has life. He who does not have the Son of God does not have life. These things I have written to you who believe in the name of the Son of God, that you may know that you have eternal life, and that you may continue to believe in the name of the Son of God. Now this is the confidence that we have in Him, that if we ask anything according to His will, He hears us. And if we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we have asked of him. If anyone sees his brother sinning, a sin which does not lead to death, he will ask, and he will give him life for those who commit sin not leading to death. There is sin leading to death. I do not say that. He should pray about that. All unrighteousness is sin, and there is sin not leading to death. We know that whoever is born of God does not sin, but he who has been born of God keeps himself, and the wicked one does not touch him. We know that we are of God, and the whole world lies under the sway of the wicked one. And we know that the Son of God has come and has given us an understanding that we may know him who is true, and we are in him who is true, in his Son, Jesus Christ. This is the true God and eternal life. Little children, keep yourself yourselves from idols. Amen. The Book of Psalm, chapter 124, verses 1 through 8. A Song of Ascents of David If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, let Israel now say, If it had not been the Lord who was, one, who was on our side, when men rose up against us, then they would have swallowed us alive. When their wrath was kindled against us, then the waters would have overwhelmed us. 
the stream would have gone over our soul. Then the swollen waters would have gone over our soul. Blessed be the Lord, who has not given us as prey to their teeth. Our soul has escaped as a bird from the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken, and we have escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. The Book of Proverbs, chapter 29, verses 5 through 8. A man who flatters his neighbor spreads a net for his feet. By transgression, an evil man is snared, but the righteous sings and rejoices. The righteous considers the cause of the poor, but the wicked does not understand such knowledge. Scoffers set a city aflame, but wise men turn away wrath. All right, guys, hope you all have a great day. Hope to see you tomorrow. And may our Heavenly Father bless you all. Peace.